Milan and Gubbins' centuries give Middlesex a chance. Harry Finch's century helped Sussex recover and take charge against Middlesex on day two of their match at Hove. The score was 64 for two in the visitors' second innings overnight, trailing by 29 runs. Gubbins and Milan came out for Middlesex at the start of the day, and they started brilliantly. Milan soon reaching his 98 ball half century. After a flurry of further boundaries, Gubbins was over 50 as well, the landmark including five fours and a six. The pair didn't stop there, the partnership soon surpassing 150, seeing Middlesex through to lunch without loss. Quality batting from Milan and Gubbins in the morning, taking Middlesex from a perilous position of 9 for 2 through to 171 for 2 at this stage, the pair searching for their centuries as they went into the afternoon session. Milan and Gubbins both continued to tick along well in the afternoon. Milan then brought up his 100 in style, hitting four runs off Visa to reach three figures. And Gubbins soon followed suit. He hit two successive fours to bring up his century, a quite fantastic innings from both of the batsmen. Their run did soon come to an end. Gubbins the first to be dismissed when he was caught by Salt off Briggs. And Milan left the field a few moments later. Briggs again the man with the wicket. Milan out for 119. Briggs was on fire. Just three balls later, he removed Cartwright for a duck. Finch with the catch. Holden and Simpson, though, managed to steady the ship and they took the visitors through to the tea break without further loss. So at the break, the score was 280 for five. Middlesex starting to build a decent lead at this stage. Milan and Gubbins the pick of the batsmen, with both players reaching centuries. Holden and Simpson returned in the evening, adding 23 before the next wicket went down. Simpson, the man to depart, he was bowled by Visa for 25. Two balls later, Holden was out, Briggs picking up his fourth wicket as he managed to get the batsman out for 29. This poor phase continued for Middlesex when they lost a third quick wicket with the addition of no runs. Visa with the dismissal when he trapped Harris leg before wicket. Four overs and nine runs later, the ninth wicket came. Rayner clean ball by Visa for six. Murtagh did offer some late resistance, finding consecutive boundaries. But it wasn't long before his partner was on his way. The batsman run out for a duck. Middlesex then 322 all out. That left Middlesex 230 runs ahead of Sussex. Milan and Gubbins, the clear pick of the batsman at the end of the second innings, but massive credit to Visa and Briggs, who took four wickets apiece to quickly see off Middlesex's lower order. Wells and Salt began the chase for Sussex, but a big wicket fell in the early stages. Wells removed for nine when he was caught by Rayner off Harris. And just 13 runs were added before Salt was out, Harris trapping him leg before. Van Zyl and Briggs survived the remaining overs through to close, Sussex 35 for two at stumps. A result on the cards on the final day at Hove. Sussex needing 195 runs for the win, Middlesex requiring eight wickets for victory.